Okay, Leo, fixed fire. Just imagine. Leo, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, um, in order to find out, <clears throat> so you can be confident that this is your reading, we're gonna find out. I already pre-shuffled these well. <laughs> could very well, two cups there, okay? Um, so that could very well be, sorry, um, this could very well be about love. Um, now, some say that the Two of Cups have more to do with um, working well together. Okay. Um, yeah, I feel like you've got some choices. Leo, a Scorpio could be involved. All right, um, how will Leo know if this is their reading? How will they know what's on the mind? of the Leo who should be watching this or who would find this reading helpful and relative, uh, sorry, relevant for them? Which Leo would find this relevant for them? What's on their mind? What's on the mind of Leo? Okay, so <laughs> possibly some heartbreak or a third party situation regarding a Virgo, okay? Um, it may be, um, or a third party situation related to someone that you met at work Okay, through work. So this could be Leo and someone that they met through work. Who else is this for? What other Leos is this reading for? What other Leos will find this reading helpful and relevant? What other Leos will find this reading helpful and relevant? What other Leos will find this reading helpful and relevant? What's on their mind? Um, any, <laughs> any Leo seeing an Aquarius? I think um, that's very clear. I know there have been a lot of connections between Aquarius and Leo lately. This is calling out as well. Wow, this could be your soulmate. It could be someone that you're not with and there's a mountain between you type thing. Just look at that. I just, you know. And right now you may not be in communication. All right. I'm going to get one just to, to find out who the other Leos are, what other Leo will find this reading relevant, what other Leos will find this reading relevant, what other Leos will find this reading relevant. I'm being guided to this. Okay, so Venus in Virgo. Again, there's Virgo. So if you're a Leo seeing a Virgo or a Leo seeing an Aquarius, um, what other Leos will find this? Le okay, Leos and, uh, okay, this is Mars and Leo. So Leo, if you're fighting something and you're maintaining a stance, this is for you. Um, I don't feel, I feel like this is more about, um, it could be Leo and Sagittarius, but what I feel like is this you evolving, the evolved fire sign, so some kind of an evolution into a more evolved Leo. Um, if you, yeah, Sagittarius energy is coming off this big time. And uh, okay, let's just get started, okay? I'm gonna go back to the traditional deck. So for those Leo, again, I feel like it's either, um, either a Sagittarius is important or you're in 10 of wands mode, which means something has been very burdensome, very difficult, but you're almost there. Okay, now then, for our fixed fire, for Leo, what is the issue, please, for Leo? What is the issue, please, for the Leos watching this reading? What is the issue, please, for the Leos watching this reading? What is at stake here? What's the issue, please, for Leos watching this reading? Okay, I feel like that is, yeah, again. So, um... This is Jupiter in Libra. Um, uh, it, it's either one of two things. It's either someone that you are not in communication with, so there's been a breakdown of communication, or for some reason, you know, someone has cut off communication, okay? Either you or the other person. Or it has to do with you 
um, mentally expanding your mind through some kind of meditation, something like that. Um, and there's a purpose for it. Um, you're going, something is going to click. Just there's a, in this stained glass window, there's a bishop blessing someone. It's where something clicks, okay? Um, I'm going to stick to this deck for a minute. Um, anything to add to the issue here for this Leo? Anything to add to this issue of um, <clears throat> Four of Swords? I really feel like it's uh, it's a cutting off of communication. It's when you're out of you're not in communication with something or someone. It's very important to you. Can we have another card to clarify this issue for Leo, please? Leo, you like to leave the cards like that. <laughs> okay, again with the uh, Venus and Scorpio, the choices. Um, so it may be that you don't know how to approach this person. You don't know how to reestablish the communication. There are some choices. All right. Leo, what is challenging you? What's the challenge for Leo? What's the challenge in this situation? What is the challenge for Leo, please, here? What is the challenge for Leo? Ah, uh, yeah. So it's coming together with someone. It's, um, you know, when you do, it's, it could be something, it could be either the reestablishing of a connection and the reestablishment is in the very early stages, or it could be a new connection. I feel like there's a historical connection between, there's some kind of history between you and this person. Information has been cut off. Um, and I feel like the challenge is getting a new start okay that's going to be in the early stages can we please have another card to clarify this challenge can we have a card oh, okay the deck wants me to go to some 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 other deck okay can we have another card to clarify the two of cups as the challenge please can we go a little deeper clarify i feel like re-establishing a connection that phrase is coming up in my head can we clarify the Two of Cups as a challenge for Leo? Yeah, we can. It could very well be with an Aquarius. There's a, or Pisces. There's Aquarius again. Okay. Um, and that is putting, uh, that is having your Ten of Cups having happiness with a person. It's also a card of second families. Okay. Um, I feel like that's there to signify that it's an Aquarius or an air sign. I'll just get one more card in case this is for Leo and other signs. It could be with an Earth sign. Who else could Leo be reestablishing a connection with? Scorpio, Libra, <laughs> Aries, uh, Aquarius is coming out again, Pisces, who else? And Virgo. Okay, now if that if that uh, if this hasn't resonated so far, turn off the tape, okay? Um, all right, Leo. What is crowning your reading, please? What's what is crowning your reading, please? What is possible here? What's crowning the reading for fixed fire? What is crowning the reading for fixed fire here? Okay, that most certainly is. Okay. I feel like they won't listen to you. You guys may be equally guarded, so you're both causing a problem. Not Both of you are being stubborn. Um, this is not the normal interpretation of that card, but this is what I'm getting here. Um, could very well be with an earth sign. This person organizes your fire energy, Leo. This could be a Capricorn. They organize your fire energy. But you're both being equally stubborn. You're being equally guarded, equally stubborn. Yeah, the issue is how to come together. It's that two of cups. That is the challenge, and there are choices. I'm going to get a couple more cards for what's crowning the reading. What is crowning Leo's reading, please? We've got Moon and Libra, Mars and Capricorn. What else is crowning Leo's reading? This is... Yeah, Leo, <clears throat> this, the part of the, this could be Gemini, but the part of the relationship that was toxic, there is something, 
some kind of betrayal or trickery, it must be brought to an end. It has to stop if you want this to survive. Another card just flew out. Yeah, if you want to get out of Four of Swords mode, you want to get out of the no communication mode, that's what you're going to have to make clear to the other person. Otherwise, they are not going to see you, hear you, speak to you. It ain't going to happen. And I feel like the other person is going to intuitively know whether or not you've brought an end to this somewhat uh, toxic cycle. I don't know what it is. I'm just going to ask, who, what's the toxicity up there? What is the Ten of Swords that has to be brought to an end? What is it? What has to be brought to an end up there? Okay. Okay, there's you. Okay, a greediness, being a miser, caring too much about money and security, being overly emotional. Um, yeah, being overly emotional. These are the things that have to change. Mostly being overly emotional, I'm seeing, um, and having a closed heart. Those are things that have to change. Caring too much about money, okay? Um... You've got, I'll tell you what you've got to do, and this keeps coming up. This is one of your major arcana cards. The cards are saying what you have to do to reestablish this connection is get control of your emotions and stop uh, um, clinging to the need to be right, okay? Because I feel like you'll argue over something just so you can prove yourself right. Um, you need to put being kind, winning with honey instead of uh, fighting fire with fire. That's the thing that has to stop. What's in the very recent path? This, yeah, this card keep this message it is coming up repeatedly. Okay, what's in the recent past for Leo that's relevant to this? All right, so there's you, Leo. Okay, Leo, this is kind of an unusual thing, but a truth about a pregnancy may have come in in the recent past. A Libra or a, a um. Taurus may have been involved. It was a truth about a pregnancy. Wow. Can we have a little bit more information on this issue? Let's not leave this issue. This truth that came in in the past. Okay, yeah. Jeez. So there's uh, Taurus, the marriage card. There's Virgo. Oh, boy. There's... There, yeah, there was a marriage. Holy moly. Okay. I feel like uh, for some of you in the recent past, a truth came in about a pregnancy or who was the mother of a son. Um, and uh, this was a secret that had been kept. Okay. For some of you. For others, what's in the recent past? For others in the recent past, a risk was taken or an Aquarius is involved for other Leos in the recent past. Okay, something, a couple of cards just very neatly flipped. Just a moment. For others of you in the recent past, yeah, um, it may have had to do with someone who was trapped in a marriage and a choice was made, okay? Um, it may not have been the right choice. It may or may have. I, what choice was made? What choice was made? I feel like this is related to the pregnancy issue. What choice was made? Oh, okay. So something unexpected regarding the choice. Uh, yeah, there's Sagittarius energy there big time. So in the recent past, the choice had something heavily to do with the Sagittarius. Wow. I'm wondering if it's related to a Libra because this theme came up in Libra's reading. Okay. Um, what is this? Up? I'm going to go to Tara, to Star now. Oh, uh, no. We're going to use Wildwood. What is the subconscious energy um, impacting on this situation? I don't care who it's coming from. Oh, that's important. Okay, there's you. Um, so your subconscious energy is impacting the situation, and it's the part of you that's in and out, the Knight of Wands. Okay. Um, what other subconscious energy is impacting on this situation? 
what other subconscious energy is having an impact on the situation this yeah so an offer it, it may be a an offer from an earth sign an offer a message um an offer of something that isn't substantial enough an engagement ring uh wanting to send you a message an earth sign wanting to send you a message it could be a capricorn oh boy holy moly so um there's also a huge amount of virgo energy and Gem virgo and gemini energy i mean we've got the hermit um, which is Virgo, the shaman, which is Virgo and Gemini, and the forest lovers, which is Gemini. Um, this is something about a choice. Oh, wow. It, it definitely, uh, look, if you're female, Leo, there you are. This is the queen of bows. Um, there was some kind of intuition used to access information regarding this queen of wands. Could be an Aries. Um, or female Leo. This is really a uh, very, very kind of a, a deep <laughs> uh, reading. I feel like it affected a lot of people. So the top players here are Virgo, obviously you, Leo, possibly Sagittarius, Tarius. Um, there's a Libra there. I really feel like Libra here is uh, very, very, very much involved. Okay. Uh, Leo, fascinating. Let's go to the outcome, okay? Now, this is just the outcome in the near future. Um, I'm doing a very uh, shortened um, tarot reading here. I'm not doing the full Celtic cross because they take so long to do. But we're going to get the very near future, okay, Leo? If necessary, we'll go into an extended and put it on Vimeo, but hopefully this won't be too big. If the Empress comes out one more time, we're going into Vimeo because there's something, up there could be, if, it, if she comes out again, there's something about a pregnancy here and a secret. Okay, uh, Leo, what's in your outcome, please? What's in the outcome? Okay, that is, but I feel like there's one more. What's in the outcome for Leo? No, there is not. There is not. Wow. Well, whatever choice you made was the correct one. This is Four of Wands, Venus in Aries. It's where the Emperor and the Empress come together. Um, that, you know, they always should have been together. They come together. Um, so Leo, wow, what a reading. Oh, just look at this. I just turned over the star tarot and two of cups is at the bottom. Amazing reading. Okay. Thanks for watching, Leo.